So when I heard that a new application, the Doctor Optimizer, has now been released on the Amazon devices, whether that's your Amazon Fire Sticks or your Kindle Fire tablet, I did get pretty excited because we've been waiting for a true cache cleaner for the 4K Fire Stick or really any of the Amazon Fire Sticks for a long time. But the question is, does it actually work? Well, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you two of these cache cleaners, which are on the official Amazon App Store. So you would hope that they've gone through some vetting, some checking, just to make sure that they're not talking rubbish and they actually do what they promise. Now, the easiest way to verify if a cache cleaner is doing its job is if you go over to your settings, let's go into manage install applications, and what you're looking for here is pick an application which normally has a large cache. Here we can see that the downloader application has a cache of 6.9 meg, that's one. And here we can see Netflix has a cache of 19 meg. Now if an application promises to clean all of your app caches, then it should go through all of these applications, delete that cache file, and the cache value that you see down there should then go down to zero. So let's actually try that. And the first application we're going to test today is the Doctor Optimizer. I was hoping with the Doctor name that it may actually work, but let's have a look. Now this application is absolutely free, but I think they make you watch an advert before they allow you to use the cleaning part of the application. So here we can see that my device has five gigs of storage with 431 megs free. Let's click on Start Scan. And this should now go through all of the applications. Oh, here's an advert here. And let's press back on the remote. This should now go through all of my installed applications, find those temporary files, find those cache files, and then give me the option to remove it. And here we can see that it's identified that I have 95 megs of cache, and it can also free up 239 megs of RAM. So sounds promising, but it looks like I have to watch an advert. So let's click on watch now. These are normally, I think 15 seconds long. Okay, so yeah, 12 seconds long. So let that finish. In fact, do leave me a comment below and let me know if you think this application is going to work or if it's just telling porkies. Okay, let's now press back once. There we go, so we can now clean and optimize, hopefully restore 96 megs of storage and also free up some RAM. So let's click on clean and optimize now. And maybe it's actually, okay, that's pretty quick. So as your device is now optimized, have a look at this advert. Okay, let's back out of that. So my device is now fully optimized, but if I now press the home key, go back into settings, go to applications, go to manage install applications. And the first one we tried was downloader. Let's go down to that. And would you believe it? The cache is still there guys. So it still says we have 6.9 megs of cache left. So it clearly didn't remove it for downloader. And let's try the bigger one, which was Netflix, which I believe was about 19 meg in size. And again, we can see guys, that even though it said it cleaned all of my cache, none of the app cache has actually been removed. And this is something I've mentioned before in a previous video where because of those increased Android security permissions, it really is going to be tricky, or should we say impossible, to find any application, single application, that will go ahead and clean all of those app caches for you automatically. Uh, but we can still try and find and see if there's anything out there. So that was the first application. So that gets a big thumbs down from me. Let's go back to home. And the second one we have is the garbage cleaner and RAM booster. So let's click on that. Okay, so it says refresh your device. Sounds good. Let's click on start. I mean, the worrying thing is these applications are available directly on the Amazon App Store and there's many on there that actually cost money. So it's a real shame that people are spending their money buying these applications, thinking that it's going to clear out all of their cash. But in reality, as you can see, it, it just doesn't work. So, okay, so it says my device needs quick refreshing. Let's click on details. Okay, show me an advert first. Okay, let's press back. Okay, so it says that I have 875 meg of installers, some trash files. So instantly enough, this one doesn't actually mention cache because maybe they actually understand that you can't remove it, but it says that it can free up 923 megs of space. So that could be something worthwhile doing. So let's click on refresh now. And there you have it guys. So this application, even though I thought it was free, it actually asks you for a subscription. So I'm gonna click on back on that. 
So this application, even though it's free to install, before you can actually clean anything, it asks you to sign up for a subscription. So I highly recommend you don't do that because, because as you can see, it's identified 923 megs of space that it can free up, but it wants you to pay or to subscribe to do that. Well, we don't need to use this application for that. I can now just press the home key. I can now open up an application like STMade. I can simply go over to scan. Now I'll go ahead and clear up all of that space for me. So you don't need to go to the Amazon App Store and pay for these applications. There's many free applications out there like STMade that will go ahead and do the thing for you absolutely free. Let's back out of that. And to free up even more space, all of those application installation files, we can open up another free application like Me Explorer. I can now go down into the list. And here we can see the downloader folder. If I long press the select button on that, you can see at the top it's identified that there's 525 megs of files in there. So very quickly I can just go into that, find all of the application files I don't need to use anymore, just select them in the list, then go back to the top, click on the trash can, and very quickly I can reclaim that space. So to get my two recommended cleaners for your Fi Stick or your Fi TVs, if you head over to Downloader and let's now make a quick connection to my website which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go or press the play button on your remote. Now this will take you directly to my website where if you go to the tutorial section the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can use these junk cleaners or these temporary file removers on all of our devices. Let's go over to the hamburger menu, click on tutorials, and let's open up that tutorial. Here we are, so let's now scroll down. Uh, but underneath all of that, we have three programs. Now, we have the Dangbear Assistant, which is also a good application to quickly clear out those temporary files, those junk files. Again, it doesn't clear out the cache, but it is a quick way to free up some memory and remove some of those temporary files. Here we have the link for Me Explorer. And lastly, we have SD made. So let's say for example, you want to install Me Explorer. Let's click on that, scroll down, and you want to use the green download button. Let's click on that. And that will install the application directly onto your device. You can then check the application, see if you do have any of those application installation files or temporary files, and quickly free up that space on your Amazon Fire Stick. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I just want to let you guys know that you don't need to spend any money on the Amazon App Store for these cache cleaners that promise to fully clean your device because as you can see with Me Explorer and SD Made, you can get all of the same functionality and much better features absolutely free. Really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.